Hey guys, it is Yolanda here. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're uh, new here, um, welcome. Um, and if you've been on here before, thank you guys for coming back. Um, I kind of wanted to do a quick uh, video since I said we were in quarantine, so why not, right? Why not put out some content? And um, I, um, one idea came to me and I said, maybe this might be able to help somebody. I don't know, you got a lot of free time at home? You got a lot of free time at home? So why not use the mind, okay? Use your creativity skills, skills that you know, and why not maybe um, create something, okay? I was gonna be a little creative. And by create, I mean um, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the power of um, manifesting things in your life and the power of the law of attraction um, in your life and um, and how I came up really how I came up with my um, my business idea so um, before we get into the video like comment and subscribe okay let's get into the video all right guys so you on here and say, okay, I'm a little curious as to what Yolanda has to say today, okay? So I wanted to talk about um, the business that I have, uh, Coffee Meets Culture, all right? So this is like a little story and um, trust me, if you've never heard of Law of Attraction, if you've never heard of the Power Manifestation, it is real, okay? Real, okay? <laughs> so let me, now I'm a person of faith before you be like, I don't know what kind of channel I'm on and what she's gonna talk about today. Okay, I'm a person of faith um, and I believe in God. So um, this is the basis of my videos, you know, so let's get into it. Okay, so a couple months back in September, right, I, um, I had, um, was thinking about um, trying to do something to create a business. I'm currently working on a children's book of mine. I um, was thinking, you know, coming up trying with a, um, some type of business that I can use, you know, to create multiple streams of income. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking, you know, the person with means and money um, doesn't just have one stream of income. So I said, why not? Let's do a little research and see what kind of business can I get into? So um, my family has, my brother and my sister-in-law has, have their own specialty coffee shop. And so, um, as I do every weekend, pretty much, I'm in there ordering my coffee and um, conversating. You know, I just pick up conversations with strangers and I love being in there um, chit-chatting about whatever, whatever topic, coffee and relationships and money and whatever, whatever, right? So um, I was thinking one day and I said, you know what? I was on YouTube and looking up some videos and one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Sparkle Marie, is always talking about the power of manifestation, always talking about the law of attraction. And I said, you know what? You know, it just piqued my interest, okay? So I'm just looking at videos and things like that. So um, one night I was in prayer and I asked God, you know, just trying to think of something that I can create based on, you know, um, I was thinking about the coffee thing. That's what popped in my mind, right? It was popped in my mind. And I was like, well, why not, you know? So I'm in bed, right? Laying down, I get woken up like, oh, like three something in the morning, right? And I'm laying there. And I got up, some told me to get up. I got up, I grabbed my um, notebook. I keep like one of these notebook things next to my bed or in my living room or whatever you know my husband was asleep at the time so I didn't want to wake him up and so I go into the living room and as I was laying down right things start coming to my mind start coming to my mind names and things I mean literally when I say the names the name of the business okay the name of the business I told you about my family having the coffee shop and I said, why not? I was thinking about uh, t-shirts, right? That's what I was thinking about. Something simple, t-shirts. I can sell them online. I can, um, uh, whatever. I don't have to have a bunch of t-shirts in my house and selling them out my car and things like that. Why not? We have the power of social media. We have drop shipping. We have so many means to get people things, right? So I'm thinking, okay, t-shirt. 
what kind of t-shirts what am i gonna put on the t-shirts right so i'm a social worker so i was thinking oh i don't know social working things inspirational things not sure right so i get woken up out of my bed i get to the living room i grab my notebook guys grab my notebook it might have been like three something in the morning and my actual stuff that I wrote it down is not in this book. And I don't know, I had to find it, but I cleaned up the other day and I know it's somewhere around here. So I got my pen, got on the couch with my blanket and literally when I say I wrote three things out of like the coffee, I said coffee, caffeine and culture, coffee plus culture, coffee, coffee, y'all, y'all. When I say coffee meets culture, okay, gotcha. So keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind before I so plug it right there, right? Coffee meets culture. When I say I had the idea of the t-shirts, right? Coffee meets culture. So the person in the coffee shop, right, is named the barista, right? Keep this in mind. That's the, that's the official name of the person that's serving up your coffee when you go to a specialty coffee shop. I was thinking, okay, like, what's the, well, I'm gonna put on the shirt. So I'm like, um, you know, maybe a barista line, like, Something like um, Sister Rista, Manifest Rista, um, Daddy Rista, all these other names which I can put on a shirt and put like a meaning on it. You know, that's coffee themed. So I literally, it took me 20 minutes. From the time that I was laying in my bed, right, giving the message, um, what popped into my head, got on the couch, wrote out three titles. So I got the title of the company that I wanted to start and start writing the ideas of my t-shirts in 20 minutes i had i had two pages of information i was just like it's like god was dictating to me and i was writing down so i was like okay i got you hey i got you oh okay okay i got you and i'm, I'm just writing 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 guys it was flowing it was flowing information now for those of you thinking like okay yolanda it's a little woo woo for me it's a little like woo woo and you was having a dream and something wrong with you no Okay, God was speaking to me and then I got my butt up and write, wrote my stuff down. So let me tell you how God works. Let me tell you how God works, right? So um, before I even get, sorry, before I even get any of that, okay, so basically um, to manifest things in your life and the law of attraction, it's like light attract light, like, 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 so you attract what you put out, got you? So, um, the basis of this, and I believe, um, I'm trying to think of the the Bible verse um, that's in it, Matthew Matthew seven seven. Okay, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Okay, so I ask God. Okay, I ask God. I'm telling you guys. Okay, listen here. That now keep in mind that night where right, I laid in the bed, I got the information. Boom. The very next day, I said, you know what? Let me stay home. I'm gonna stay home. Um, I didn't do anything. I turned on um, Kelly and Ryan. Okay, Kelly. It was now this is September 2019, like second week or so, and um, doing the middle of the week. So I'm sitting there, and I really don't really watch them like that. But I was watching that day, and Kelly wasn't there, and Ryan was on. I'm t I'm sitting in the bed, right? The very ne the very next morning, like a few hours later, I get up. Okay, my husband went to work. I'm watching TV. On the TV, Ryan is talking about coffee. He is talking about baristas. Y'all, you wait a minute, sorry. Y'all, wait a minute. Let me tell y'all something. That had my attention. I scooted up to the TV like, what did he just say? Was he, was he talking about baristas? Y'all, so listen. He was talking about coffee and baristas. Okay, I just finished the dream. Got my bed, rolled his stuff out, and then now Ryan is talking about coffee and baristas. Boom. So I've been going online, went online that day, looking for like the t-shirts and things like that, t-shirt information, blah, 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 blah. And I came across like a boot camp, like a um, business boot camp, um, Girl Plus God. Yeah, I've seen her sweatshirts or whatever on TV, not TV, excuse me, on social media, whatever. Girl Plus God, if you don't know it, go look it up. Okay, so she had like a little boot camp, um, business boot camp um, course online so i'm telling all right so let me pay my little coins and let me go and get some information on starting a t-shirt line right so and when i was looking up some information or whatever in a part of the segment on there she had um essentially plugged in 
um, like I said, if I say, okay, go to Yolanda's Instagram page and this is a sample of whatever brand she is having, you can look at it, you can kind of get a feel of what, how the brand and blah, 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 blah. So in the, the course, right, she gave a sample of someone's Instagram page to go on. So I went on the Instagram, I pulled it up. So I said, hmm, that's kind of strange. Not that many followers. And maybe when I say a few, it might be a few followers, only one post, one picture, no description, right? And when I look, I say, okay, I went back off again. I looked back on to the, to, to the, to the course and I was like, okay, let me make sure I have the Instagram page, uh, Instagram page correct that I typed in. Went back again, looked it up. Y'all, when I say, I said, no, this is not right. When I looked at the Instagram, I mean, Instagram page, guess what was under the title of the picture, y'all? Filters for coffee. I lied to you not. Filters for coffee, okay? So I was like, God, you killing me. You killing me right now. So Ryan was on. Don't forget, I went from the dream, wrote it down in the page for 20 minutes. I had two sheets of uh, paper written out what the name of the business, what I want to call my Instagram, and all this other stuff. Then I go on Kelly and Ryan, he's talking about baristas and coffee, and then I go on this lady's Instagram, whoever, I don't know if it's a lady or a man, I don't even know, but I went on and this person said, the the, the tag underneath the picture said, filters for coffee. Y'all, that is crazy. So, I did all that, I did the boot camp, I set everything up, by the very, but I'm telling within less than, from the time that I took the bootcamp class for that dream and all that, within a week, I had already set up my Instagram. I already had, um, later on, I had went on to, I think, LegalZoom. I went on to my information, got my company started, everything, LLC, all that information to get started, okay? No, no, before, wait, wait, before I even go there, y'all, because within the week, let me tell y'all what, what happened with us after I took that bootcamp class. And you know, after I took the class, I said, you know what, when am I gonna start this thing? There's no rush or anything like that. So I was like, when am I gonna start this coffee thing, like these t-shirts and things like that? So y'all, I went up online and I looked up, you know you have certain days of the, of the month that they have celebrate, it's National Donut Day, it's National Take Your Mama to Work Day, I don't know, it's National um, um, Wear Red Day or National Whatever Day. So y'all, after that, I looked up what is National Coffee Day, International Coffee Day. Y'all, it was the end of September. It was, I think it was like September 20 something, September 30th or whatever. So I was like, bam, it was, first of all, it was no accident. When I say no accident, it was no accident at all that I was given that dream, given the information and everything. That was like September, when I say September 18th, September 14th or something like that or whatever, y'all, within a week's time, I had everything set up. Everything set up. And you know what? And I'm gonna tell you something. I said, people may, you may, you may sound crazy and it's not crazy at all. That's God, okay? Let me tell y'all. I was a little fearful, like what, what, what am I gonna do? But I was like, listen, I'm setting it up. I'm gonna do me and I'm asking God, I'm believing. And see, the thing, the key about this is, is like you I can ask, Okay, but you have to vision, you have to see, you have to believe it. Um, ask, believe, receive. When I ask, I believe it. It's that like I can literally see it. Okay, guys, it's the feel. It is the feeling. You have to be positive in your mind. You don't have no doubts, no no nothing. I was like, what's gonna happen? But when God laid it out, and I'm telling you, all stuff was put in place. That ain't nothing but God. And I'm telling you now. Ask, believe, receive. Remain positive, you guys. If you don't believe, I'm telling you, look it up. Like I said, I'm a person of faith. I believe in God. Whatever you call God, you call God, God. If you call God, whoever, um, whatever um, you believe in, whatever you hook up to, whatever you, whatever you hook up to, whatever your source is of inspiration, whatever your source of faith is, mine is God, I call God, God. You know, whatever is the source energy, is it the universe, whatever you believe in, okay? That's it. And I'm telling, and that is the power of manifesting. I asked and it came to pass. It came, it came to pass. And so guys, that is my story today, y'all. I'm wearing one of my shirts that I wrote that night. I'm telling you. 
while you're at home and in quarantine and you thinking like, oh, I can't start that business, I can't do this, I can't do that, the internet is a wealth of information. Social media, Instagram, whatever, is a wealth of information. YouTube, even say, oh, I wanna create this kind of business, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, that's it. This business works for me because I don't have to have anything at home, I can do this from my phone. I can do my business from my phone, doing social media and things like that. And guess what? It's not perfect. Do not wait for the perfect time. It's not gonna be a perfect time for you to like, okay, say so start this business or whatever. If you don't have the money, there are a ton of resources. I didn't need a lot of money to start up my, um, my drop ship for my t-shirt or anything like that. I just created it. And guess what? Some of the stuff, I went on like a freelance website I asked somebody to create the t-shirt for me and some, guess what, I did myself. I went on like Canva and um, put the words in and created it myself. And I am not a creative person, okay? I'm not creative at all. But I went in, it was self-explanatory and guys, if you go on my website, you can check it out. And what I mean, like I said, guys, I, I am not perfect. My website is not perfect. Everything, all this big branding and all this other stuff, I'm a work in progress just like you are a work in progress and you are able to do it. I'm telling you, it can be done. So this is one of the shirts that, I'm, that I have. It's called um, Sister Rista, lover of coffee culture, but loves to mix things up. So that's one of my coffee inspired t-shirts. Okay guys, so go on my website, coffeemeetsculture.com. That's also my Instagram um, um, name. Go on and let me know what you think. I'm a work in progress. I'm gonna continue to work on it, but that was my story of um, how I manifested um, my business. Okay, guys, I look forward, when I say I look forward to hearing from you on, how, on your journey, on what you're believing God for, what you're asking for. I know that you're gonna believe what you ask. If you know it's in your heart. You believe, you know it's gonna come to pass, and it's gonna, it's gonna be there. God's gonna bless you guys. I'm telling you now, whatever you, God, universe, source, energy, whatever, whatever you believe your higher power is, it can be done. I look forward to talking to you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Leave me a like, a comment, whatever. Talk to you guys later. Bye.